attention. I thought your grace might be relieved to know that your son is alive and well. Your staff seems somewhat surprised by the fact. What is the point of your visit? Then Netflix is Bridgerton. Why does Lord Hastings reject young Simon for his alleged idiocy? I am receiving high marks in all of my studies, sir. We break down the motivations and consequences. Why does Lord Hastings reject young Simon for his alleged idiocy? During the second Netflix episode, Shock and Delight, a flashback sequence offers contextual information for both characters and partially explains why the future Duke of Hastings refuses to have children. What did you say? What is he doing? Simon's vow to remain childless ties back to his father's damaging childhood perceptions of him and how they shaped Simon into adulthood. Bridgerton stars British actor Reed Jean Page as Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings. As an adult, he catches the attention of Daphne Bridgerton, Phoebe Dynever, in 1813 London, and decides to maintain a convenient relationship with the young woman. In theory, their courtship will make Daphne more appealing in high society, and Simon won't have to worry about the painstaking process of being bombarded by potential partners. The second episode goes back in time to Simon's childhood and reveals that he was declared an idiot by his father. He's an imbecile. Your Grace. He is an idiot! The result of a stutter. During the final moments of shock and delight, adult Simon recalls a final conversation with his dying father, in which he vows to never have an heir of his own. You vow. Any vow I will ever make in my life. I will never marry. Lord Hastings rejects young Simon and Bridgerton for three key reasons. 1. The early 1800s were not exactly an enlightened time in regard to things like mental illness or speech impediments, thus, a stammer was equated with idiocy. 2. Lord Hastings is acutely aware he'd been granted a family title and land by the king, and that it could be just as quickly taken away. I... You are my worst failure. Because they are black, any imperfections could easily be used against their family for that reason. 3. Simon's mother died after giving birth to him, another resentful reason Lord Hastings rejects the boy. To the family patriarch, the Hastings name cannot land in the quivering hands of a half-wit. As a result, Simon grows up without understanding what unconditional love feels like and unsurprisingly shows little interest in maintaining romantic relationships. Yeah. Your goodbye is wholly unnecessary. We are not friends. We never were friends, as you made abundantly clear. And I am sorry for that. Please do not apologize. Primarily because he lacks the appropriate amount of emotional intelligence that children typically learn from their parents. So, when Simon shows up in London and seems like the ideal suitor for Daphne Bridgerton, he invests little energy in a genuine friendship because he's learned to feel worthless and mistrustful because of his father's treatment of him. So I did the very same. I told you I cannot give you children. Simon's childhood stammer in Bridgerton thematically links with the Hidden Cousins subplot in The Crown Season 4. In Peter Morgan's series about Queen Elizabeth II, Princess Margaret, Helena Bonham Carter, discovers that she has relatives Nerissa and Catherine Bowes Lyon, who were institutionalized at the Earl's Wood Institution for Mental Defectives. To fill it with. Will you still have your interests? Oh, please! As the nieces of Queen Elizabeth, the cousins' perceived imperfections could potentially affect the familial legacy even into the 1940s. So, in late 18th century England, Lord Hastings definitely believed he couldn't afford to have a son who couldn't speak properly in public. Right. And with your bitch mouth shut. I wrote to you many times to let you know I... I'm not... not dead. Fortunately for Simon, he was able to overcome his stammer with the assistance of Lady Danbury, Ajoa Ando, someone who had his best interests at heart, but she still wasn't his biological parent. In Bridgerton season 1, much of the primary narrative conflict revolves around Simon's feelings of inadequacy and resentment. He's able to play a prominent role in 1813 London society and has enough intelligence to spin certain narratives, but continuously rejects the idea of being a father. Through Daphne someone who's similarly in the process of overcoming personal insecurities in Bridgerton, Simon not only learns to love himself, but also learns how to embrace all the little imperfections that make his wife so unique and special. I know why you made that vow to your father. 
I found the letters you wrote to him as a child, and I read them. 